Hi friends, Susanna here today, and today I am coming to you with a new hack. Um, you might have seen that we've released some new swimsuit patterns, which we love, um, but I had someone ask me if there was a way to make a skirt out of the skirt pattern and a legging pattern. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be mixing up the skirt pattern and a legging pattern and putting them together to keep create a cute sk a skort. <laughs> I can't say the word. Okay, but um, the reason why I'm talking about swim is because I am going to be using swim fabric to create a swim skirt. Now you can create, you can use this hack to create like a tennis skirt, or if you just want to put something underneath any skirt that you're creating, uh, but I am using it specifically for a swim skort. Skort. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, friends, so what I'm going to be using for this particular video is the gathered skirt from the Tankini, the gathered Tankini uh, bathing suit pattern, and I'm going to be using the urban leggings. Now, if you wanted to use a different skirt, you definitely can, um, because we are just attaching the leggings at the waistband at the same time that we attach the waistband to the skirt and the leggings. So the really cool thing is that, let's say you wanted to use the Be Smart skirt, you can use that and match it together and then put the waistband on. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's super easy and super quick. Um, so let's get started. I already said let's get started. We are already getting started. The first thing I, we need to do is figure out how long we want the shorts to be uh, so that we can cut the legging this length that we want it to be. We're going to grab our measuring tape and we're going to measure or inseam. Now, I am not going to show you right now because I am wearing a dress, but you're going to start right at your crotch area and you're going to go all the way down to wherever in your leg that you want that uh, seam to stop. Or if you already know what inseam you like to wear, you um, whatever length it is that you want, you're going to figure that out first. You're going to grab your pattern and you're going to go right here where the crotch seam ends right here and you're going to measure all the way down and find where that inseam is. I'm going to start with an inseam of eight. I have long uh, thighs, like my legs are long. Um, so I'm going to start there at eight because I'm going to hem it up as well. And I like to have a thicker hem, almost like an inch hem, um, because I, I just... That's my preference. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut it at eight, which means I'm gonna mark my pattern here and fold it at the eight inch mark. And you can make it however long you want it um, and fold there and cut. Um, there's a short length cut line right here in the urban leggings. So they're a lot shorter in this one, but I wanted it to be a little longer. If you just wanna go with the short uh, cut line, you can just go ahead and do that. It's a five inch uh, length basically, but then you take out the in the uh, hem allowance, so it'll be like four and a half, four to four and a half inches of length. So that's up to you how long you want it. You can change that by adding just cutting it a little bit lower, depending on where you want it to hit. Now for the skirt, I'm cutting my size and I'm cutting everything exactly the same, the skirt and the waistband. This skirt has a front and back and a waistband. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all my pieces. Before I forget to mention, today I am wearing a hacked Chapman cardigan. Um, I want to make a, uh, a uh, tutorial on how I created this dress. Um, I was going to make a tutorial on how I created this exact dress, but I had technical difficulties with my um, camera, so um, I was not able to get that for you all, but I will um, make it again so I can show you all how to do it, especially because I love it. It's super simple and super cute. Now I've got my two waistbands, front and back. I've got my uh, two legs for my um, 
for my leggings and I've got my skirt front and back and we're gonna get started sewing by putting all of them attaching all of them together so first I'm gonna start with the legs of the leggings and I'm gonna grab the leg and I'm gonna create each individual leg by sewing here at the inseam right sides together and for both now I'm going to do the same for the skirt, but not by itself, but to each other. So I'm gonna grab the front and the back, and I'm gonna saw, sew, saw, I'm gonna saw, <laughs> I'm gonna sew those side seams. So here's my side seam, right here is my waist right here, my outer, and so I'm gonna grab both the front and the back and layer them on top of each other at the sides and sew those together, right sides together. Okay, and then last but not, whoops, last but not least, I'm gonna grab my waistbands and face them right sides together and sew them at those outer edges, which are the sides that come in. We're gonna sew those together as well, right sides together. And I'm going to use my serger, but you can use any kind of stretch stitch on your sewing machine or on your serger. This is for knit, so it's going to stretch. So you have to use a stretch stitch. All right, so the next step is to grab one of your legs from your leggings and turn it right side out. So here it is, and the other one stays inside out because we're gonna fit this one right inside of it. We're gonna match the crotch seam right here, and we're gonna go up to the front and over to the back, matching right sides together to create your leggings. After that, all we have to do is put them all together and um, hem, and that's it. Literally the quickest sew ever. All right, friends, my leggings are finished. All I have to do is hem, attach waistband, so since my leggings are finished and my skirt is finished, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fit my skirt right over my leggings like so. So make sure, oh, match, figure out the sides of your leggings first. You don't have a seam on the side, so you wanna make sure that the sides match up. This is my side seam, put the front and the back, let me move this out of the way. Front and back together and go to the sides. There's one and I'm gonna mark them and here's the other one because what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to fit my skirt right over it. So it's wrong side of the skirt touching the right side of the, um, the legging. And um, you can go ahead and baste those two together first, um, especially because I'm using swim, I probably should face them together first. Um, and make sure that they are not going to come apart as I am trying to sew them together. But I am so stubborn. So I might not baste it together. But essentially you wanna baste them together so they basically are become one uh, waist right here, just the waist right here together. Then you're gonna grab your waistband, you're gonna fold it wrong sides together. Let me move this aside so I can show you. Pull the wrong sides together. Do you all think I'm gonna regret not basting them together first? Swim can be very slippery. I'm gonna match the front and the back and go to the sides. Come on below and tell me what you do. Do you baste them together or do you just go for it like I do? Ah. <sighs> Might not be the best idea. Then I'll be yelling at myself as I'm trying to seam rip it and fix it. <laughs> but sometimes it works just fine. And then I saved the time that I would have taken me, the two seconds it would have taken me to baste. <laughs> All right, so now my waistband is quartered and ready. I love that the design of this waistband goes in so it's a little bit larger um, as it goes down and then a little comes in, so it kind of tuck everything in as it goes up. I love that. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my skirt and I'm going to match up right sides together now, all those three uh, layers, which is really four layers because the waistband is in half, folded in half. So I'm gonna match them all up and I'm going to stretch the legging and the skirt 
to fit on the waistband. I'm gonna have to just stretch slightly because so that they can all three fit on there as I'm sewing them around. This is gonna be so cool. Again, you can do this with any fabric, uh, any knit fabric, and it will be great for all kinds of wear. Um, even like, you know, uh, if you're going to, you like trying to make some a tennis skirt, or if you just wanna make a, a skirt, but you wanna have the security of the leggings underneath, this is just a really great hack. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that, and then all we have to do is hem. Unless you wanna leave, leave a raw edge, which you mold, you're more than welcome to, you can leave it raw. I might try it on raw and see what I, what I think, because this is swim, and a lot of swim stays raw. Um, but um, we'll see. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna sew all these three layers together and hope that they stay together and I don't end up super mad at myself for not basting. I like to push my needle in so I can have better stability and then make sure that you grab all three and nothing more and nothing less. You do not want the bottom of your skirt to get caught in there or anything like that. Alrighty friends, we are done. And look, if I do a big spin, can you see my shorts underneath it? I love this so much. I love how it looks. I love that it, they're so slim, so there's no bulky like shorts underneath. Bully loves them too. He says, are you ready to go outside and play? You look like you are. Um, I love this. I am wearing the top of the Wave Rider um, Raglan uh, Rash Guard. I'm super excited about it, it's so cute. Um, but I think this just looks perfect. I love this waistband. I just think that this turned out great and I don't even think I need to hem it. Um, since I don't need to hem it, I might shorten my shorts a tiny bit because I made them long enough to hem. Um, but yeah, what do you think? I think he loves it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I just want to encourage you to get out there and sew what you love, um, create bless you, create new things, different things, mix patterns together. Um, let me know below if you have any questions goodness if you have any questions about any hacks or anything like that this was a hack that somebody mentioned on one of my videos and I never even thought about it so um, and I decided to do it and it was super quick and super easy and super helpful I love it so comment below and let me know if there's anything you want me to try let me know if this was helpful and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time bye I can't stop twirling it's so cute <laughs>